Um, this grant is up to 5,000 euro as 50% share of your promotion cost. So if you have a film produced and if you're traveling to, let's say, uh, the American film market and if you need to do um, uh, English subtitles, you are eligible to apply for 50% share of the cost uh, to get the film subtitled. Or if you go to a festival, you also can apply for uh, co-financing for the travel costs for the director or a talent to go there. If you have a press agent hired, uh, it's also possible to get uh, some funding for um, for uh, the promotion costs uh, via this uh, film state support scheme. It is, I have to, to say, it's eligible for international sales agents. So if your film does have a sales agent, an international sales agent attached, then the sales agent has to apply for the funding. Uh, this is one part of the film sales support scheme. The other thing is that we are running uh, European umbrella offices at uh, several festivals and markets. Uh, this is uh, the first one at the Hong Kong Film Mart. So once uh, you, uh, your film, or you think your film or your work has potential for the Asian market, especially China, uh, this is definitely the place to go. It's a very vibrant market and uh, it's a growing market. They also have lots of events going on for co-production with China. I think it's not that easy, but still um, this, is a, this is an interesting marketplace. We have an umbrella office for the European producers and sales agents at the Guadalajara Film Festival at the, uh, in Mexico. Uh, there is an umbrella office at the Asian film market, which is uh, at the same time with the Busan International Film Festival in October. And last not least, there is for many, many years now an umbrella office at the American film market um, um, for the Europeans. There are two, two additional activities we're having. This is one, one is called the industry screenings, which are happening in New York. So if there is an international sales agent for uh, your film or for European film and he feels like it makes sense to screen the films to buyers, acquisition people in New York, in the US, so as the independent industry is more uh, uh, based in New York, in the US, uh, then the film can participate and will be screened among four, five, six titles each year uh, to uh, the acquisition people uh, there. It's the idea that if you have a film screened in a market, you have the competition with all the other screens from throughout the world with your film in the market screening. Uh, you might have explored if you have a film there, you have like three, four people sitting in the audience. Uh, one is maybe a festival, and then you have three other people you've never heard about before, and you don't know what they're doing, but they do have a market which to attend the screening, but definitely they're not buying. So the idea is a little bit to get out of this competition uh, uh, at the huge festivals, at the big markets, uh, and to have dedicated screenings only to the industry um, in New York. And um, of the, if there are four films screened, at least one film is sold to the US territory afterwards. So this is quite good. And we have, last but least, the Oscar screenings, where we uh, show screen films to Academy members in Los Angeles um, uh, just after uh, or during the start of the um, Oscar campaign um, parallel to the, Amer to the American film market in November where well, we had, I think, I don't know exactly how many films, I think about 10 films last year and it's growing so more and more um, uh, also um, not only member organizations but also those uh, publicists doing the, the uh, campaigns in uh, Hollywood they are um, keen in participating in the screening because it finds uh, the way to uh, the academy members voting on the Oscars. Okay, I don't know if there are any questions about what we are doing and how to to participate or does anybody have any questions for either Joe or maybe for Isabella from the Film Institute about how to get in touch maybe to become a producer on the move or to recommend a shooting star or something. Does anybody have anything they want to contribute? Maybe you want to say something that would be good? Um, yeah, the number of video film promotion for five, six years already. <coughs> this is a six year in and uh, actually we've been participating in uh, every activity with, uh, which John mentioned. It's not that we are, uh, we've decided to participate in, in the American Film 
single market in Philastin, uh, for example, every year. But if we feel it might help uh, our films, or if we feel that the uh, Oscar screening might be helpful for our uh, entry, we do it. So we usually uh, take the decision uh, each, each time uh, the event happens. And also for the um, producers on Timbuk and for um, Shooting Stars program, which I think are uh, working great because of the <coughs> network that, uh, that the actors, distributors, producers and the directors uh, can have afterwards. Uh, they, we have a great feedback from the people who have been participating, actually Wukash Jinto told us that uh, uh, he's already thinking of a co-production with, uh, co with other producers on the move uh, this year. And uh, also, the, uh, I had a great feedback from Agnieszka Kurchowska, who was our first uh, participant in the um, Shooting Stars program five years ago. Uh, we all know that Agnieszka's career is developing and she's been in many, many co-productions. I don't know if this is, this is the, because of the Shooting Stars program, but I think it was really, really helpful. <laughs> Question to you, Isa. How how does it work? Is it like uh, this is published by the institute who decides who is the producer that is fulfilling all the conditions, or the actor, or it might happen that the producer would approach you and ask, maybe this year I could go there. <laughs> what what is the procedure? Uh, the procedure is very simple. We need to follow the rules, uh, uh, which are um, for each program established by European Film uh, Promotion. And this is the decision might made uh, within the Polish Film Institute. Of course, there are producers who approach us and uh, ask us if they can be the participant for this year. We consider this. Uh, but there are certain rules that we need to follow and we are trying to select the best uh, person. Also, always for the shooting stars and both of shooting stars and producers of the Middle European Film Promotion needs to accept our choice. And um, from uh, for the shooting stars program, the rules have changed recently because the, well, the first time when Agnieszka Grochowska was uh, our choice to be a participant, it was easier because there were um, about 24, 23 countries uh, within European Film Promotion, so each country could present um, their actor or actress. But uh, right now we are 32, Joe, 32? It's 32 members? 32 members, countries, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's really impossible to present 32 actors to the audience. It's, uh, it does not really make sense. Uh, so I believe that two years ago the rules have changed and um, the jury uh, chooses 10 uh, actors uh, from the participant countries. So we, we all, each year we make our choice within the Polish Film Institute, but then the jury needs to accept uh, our candidate, which last year happened, and uh, Agata Bozek was a uh, shooting star again. I mean, again for Poland. Yeah. Any uh, additional questions from anyone? If, no, if there are no more questions, uh, thank you, Joe, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.